We're gonna do a little bit of a workout here with hand weights. Um, I just wanna say a couple things. I'm gonna do a video on the art of bouncing. There is an art to bouncing, I learned. And I had some people that I had took six weeks to teach how to bounce. I know that sounds a little bit different, but that's a fact. So I get my watch going for a little indoor run. So we're gonna start with warming up, just pushing your feet into the mat. No weights to start. You can move your arms any way you want. Keep that bounce going. I just like to bring my arms forward and back. But you can do them like this. If you do your arms like this a little bit quicker, you get a little bit more steps that way. So what we're gonna start by, I'm gonna to turn a little bit so that you can see. I'm gonna push forward and back. Just warming it up. Push it to the side. Keep pushing out. Just like a little gallop. I like to go to the beat of the music a little bit. Push it forward and back. Into the corner. Three more. Now, all we're gonna do here is go side to side. Barely come up off the mat. You can come up as high as you want, but just get acclimated to the rebounder. Everybody has different bounces, different rebounders, and different sizes. I'm actually used to the 49 inch Bellicon, and this one's a 44 inch. I teach at a 49 inch so I can tell the difference. There's a big difference. Back and forth. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do about 10 more. I just wanna get all warmed up before we pick up the weights. I have three pound weights, they're on the floor. Now I'm gonna go to the other corner. See how I can double my arms up, or you can do it like this. But I like to double mine, get my arms moving. to do about three and a half minute warm-up generally as I do in all my classes just to warm us up and you can do your arms any way that you want okay what we're gonna do first before I pick the weights up I'm gonna show you a little pendulum move it's a fun little move and this is where you're not gonna be bouncing so you're gonna lift one leg up and one arm, like this. Put your arms up. So in order to do this move, you have to start bouncing first. That'll warm up your arms, your legs, your obliques, your core. Bring your arms side to side. Warm them up. Waving them arms. We do about 10 or 15 more of these. Get you warmed up. Now I'm gonna work a little bit by bringing them down. Bring your arm, legs and arms out to the side. Now I'm bring them up. Bring them down. Really get into the movement now. Bring them up. I love bouncing. Bring them down. Once I start, it's hard to stop. Keep bringing them. Bring them up. Few more. Bring them down. 
I think we've done um, oh, about four minutes. So let's do a little high knee. See how I lean it back? Push my shoulder blades back. Not real high knees yet. Move your arms. Head up to the side. Always good posture. And that's number one. So you go right on the beat. We're almost there. Now side. Bring it to the side. Arms out, bring them down. Get your knees up. Slip. Warming it up. See, I want to keep going, but do a little lower march. I'm doing marches in here too. So I'm doing a little march. Now, all I'm gonna do here is the safe way, step off to the side. You always step off the side or the back, not the front. Squat down, pick up my weights. See, I almost fell. I am used to my bigger rebounder. Now, what you're gonna do here to start tapping that left toe up into the corner, like this. And I actually lean on that leg. Then I'm gonna take that left hand, start bringing it out a little bit, work a little bicep. So I lean onto that foot. Other arms just down, steady. Push it out. Try to lean into that, I'm barely tapping with my right. Keep bringing it out. Couple more. Then I'm gonna take my right hand, right here, my right arm, I should say, and bring it back into a little tricep um, push-up. And I'm gonna bring my foot back. Not far with the foot, but just enough. That'll be enough to work that tricep. You can use one pound, two pound, three pounds, I would really re recommend five pounds if you're bouncing. They get hard. Bring it to the back. I'm gonna do a few more. And once you get fat down, we're gonna alternate. So. When I alternate, it'll be, I'm gonna bring this knee up a little bit, the left. See how I crunch into it? That's how you crunch it. Crunch it, forward, push it up. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Now, all you're gonna do here is come back and forth and you can move your weights like this before we do the other side. You can move them slower or faster. When I have weights, I tend to go slower. In the warm up, I want to go faster. You don't want to go too fast with the weights in your hand. All right, now, come on to this side. This time, remember, I lean. See how I'm leaning most of my weight here? I'm tapping. Then, I pick up that right. Just push it out. What do you do is push it out. We'll do a good 20 minute bounce. Maybe a little longer. There's, some, there's nothing like bouncing to me um, with my workouts. I have another second love too. I love the Total Gym and I do love the TRX and my resistance bands. But to really make me feel happy and really stress is bouncing for me. I always know when I need to bounce. Okay, we're gonna do about five more. Four, three, two, one. Now, I'm gonna bring this one up. So here I go, we're gonna start getting ready. The other arm just kinda stays down. You don't have to come up high, I don't come up real super high on that. <clears throat> like a bigger bounce area and this is sufficient this is my travel one I go places I always bring my belly pan with me if I can not so often when I fly but I like to have it with me okay we're gonna do about five more five four three two one now remember when I said we alternated I don't know if I do it together on the other side, but we're gonna alternate. This time, you're gonna bring that right knee up, lock back. I don't think I did it together. <clears throat> if I didn't, I'm gonna do it again on the other side. Bring one arm up like this. 
and then we're gonna push it up. And let's just hold it first. Do a little box, side to side. So we're gonna push it. You're never too old to bounce. I'm 63 and I love bouncing. I hope I'm still bouncing like this in my 80s. Two more. Just bring it up. made to move. Now, what we're going to do here, hold them, alternate them. We're getting close to being done, actually. Just a short little video. Now, let's just bring them up like this. Alternate them. You can do any type of bouncing you want with it. We don't want to bounce super fast. Almost there. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I hope you're feeling a little bit in the arms. Okay, we can do a couple other things. I'm gonna lift up my left arm. All the way up. It does bend a tad, so I'm gonna hold it up. Just hold that one up. And then I'm gonna slap my boot. What does that mean? I'll slap my foot. Not too high, I don't want to really slap it because I don't want to hit it with my weight. This is where the art of bouncing will come in. <clears throat> Five, four, three, Two, one. Okay. 
a little bit of music change. It's just instrumental. Um, so we're gonna do that forward and back as we bring our weights out. I keep my weights, my arms right by my side into my waist, the elbows. And we're just gonna bounce slow forward and back. <clears throat> The faster bounce comes in without weights. Well, not really. I do a fast, slow bounce. I could do a whole video on that with the weights, and that's super hard. But you go super fast. <clears throat> Bring them out. Bring them out. Keep them on the inside. <clears throat> Almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> now we're gonna lift up your right. Bring it up. Do a bounce. Sometimes I pick up one foot and then the other. However you want to do it. <clears throat> Keep them over your head. Just the one. It's your right hand. <clears throat> Friday is the spice of life, so um, switching up your workouts is so beneficial. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it down. And um, we're going to just have this over your chest, like this. Bring it out, back and forth, side to side, but I keep my arm in. Like you're pushing it aside. The other side, I hold it in first, bring it out. Definitely gonna get your heart rate up. <clears throat> now, what I do, throw one down, then the other. Hit my step. That's my step. I work on that. I work on the high step. I've got barbells, very heavy weights. I've got like a Roman chair. Um, and I have two total gyms here. One stacked with weights. One doesn't have the weights. And that's what I like to do. So we did. I'm going to do one more little move here. I'm going to start marching first. Remember how we came up with our knees in a jog? Kick it out. Move your arms with it. Move it out. <clears throat> Kick it out. I'll bring them up. You're winding it down. Yep, we did close to 25 minutes. Went by fast for me. So you bring them up. <clears throat> the side again. Slap it up. These slappers. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you that in my next video so that you know how <clears throat> to pick up separate knees and whatever else I teach in my classes. Lots of people struggle with it. And it's nothing like bouncing on an outdoor tramp or in a trampoline park. 
So, we start coming slow. It's so barely coming up. <clears throat> See, it's hard for me to stop. That's just me. <laughs> they call me the Energizer Bunny and Tigger. And you know what, there's nothing wrong with that. So remember, when you step off of here, I'm gonna stop my <clears throat> run so I don't go over. Always step off the back or the side so that you feel comfortable. Um, I'm just gonna do one little stretch here. <clears throat> bring my arm over. I'm gonna bring it forward and grab that rim. And then I'm gonna come back into that stretch. Woo. Now that feels amazing. I step up here, come off the side again, come into it, bring your arm up over, bring your arm down, hold on to that rim. I'm going to keep moving my foot forward a little bit and then we're going to stretch back. This um, rebounder, I think is a perfect height, 14 inches off the ground. You can do a lot of challenging moves with up this high, but then again, you have to be careful because you don't want to fall. So I hope you have a great day and join me in the Art of Bounce.